This is meteorologist Mark Molnar. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into a weather factor alert here. This has to do with New York, Pennsylvania, portions of western New England. For your Friday morning commute, late Thursday night into Friday, this is the system that will be ejecting out of the mid-Mississippi River Valley towards the northeast here along a stationary front here, right along the Ohio River Valley to the Mason-Dixon line. Ahead of it and above it, to the north of it here, overrunning precipitation with cold air supplied by a high pressure up here in northern New England, southeastern Quebec, will keep radiational cooling happening Thursday night. And some of those areas of the southern tier of New York, Finger Lakes, western Mohawk Valley, parts of the Adirondacks, the northern Susquehanna region of upstate New York into extreme northeast Pennsylvania, and parts of the Catskills and northern Poconos could be seeing what could be some slushy accumulation of snow, but the big story will be at least a few tenths of an inch of freezing rain. And some of this could be on the order of five tenths or about five hundredths of an inch up to a tenth of an inch of liquid freezing rain here. So this could cause some problems for your Friday morning commute. Yep, we're talking about freezing rain here into April, which is not unheard of, but Usually freezing rain is pretty much over with by this time of year. Usually it's mainly wet snowflakes, but we will be looking at some freezing rain here across Binghamton, Wilkesbury, Scranton, Syracuse, portions of Penyan, Ithaca, Elmira, and all of these areas. So I'll zoom in on the map here momentarily. But all of this moisture is feeding into it. As the day progresses, that front slowly moves to the northeast and we slowly erode that cold air. But there is the, the scenario that's impacting. And of course, we'll be dealing with some severe thunderstorms and flooding here along the Gulf Coast regions up towards the southern areas of the Appalachians as well. So let's get right into viewer sent in photos and videos continuing with Lucas D here from London, Texas. Take a look at continuing with his lightning captures here. Very nice photos and videos. This nice long capture of some slow motion lightning across the London, Texas area. Lots of lightning this time of year in the southern states and that will continue to be the rule. And we take a look the rest of uh, John from Islip, New York, Fire Island, New York, to be exact. Rough oceans continuing. We've had a lot of stormy conditions here as of late in southern New England and Long Island. And this will continue, this kind of ocean along the beaches. Let's get right into the forecast, starting off with your precipitation amounts. Kind of lightening up a little bit, pushing off towards the Pacific Northwest out west here as we get a little bit quieter. But back east here, you see, you just notice this slug of moisture up the Appalachians into the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. That's where we're dealing with not one, but two systems. We'll have the first system Friday that I was talking about, frozen precipitation to start out in New York and Pennsylvania, western New England, parts of Vermont, western Massachusetts. That will quickly move out for the weekend, leaving behind clouds and some sun and some nice conditions. But then more moisture will fall pretty much all in the form of rain Monday. There will be a big system that will produce quite a bit in the way of rainfall. Let's get right into, well, before we do, there it is, one, two solid inches, liquid equivalent. Into the pattern here, like I said, it's getting a little bit quieter out west here, especially the southwestern portion, southern California, getting still s socked in here in the Pacific Northwest with storminess and some mountain snow as well. Back east here, pretty much pretty okay here, central states. And then we get a quick, fast-moving zonal flow with some bigger systems that managed to push here to the northeast across the Ohio River Valley up into the Allegheny River Valley here and push warm temperatures and plenty of liquid precipitation, especially later on in the weekend into early next week. So there's the pattern we're looking at, warmer conditions reign supreme here. Let's get right into snowfall amounts. A little bit lesser of a story here. I've basically just highlighted portions of the Western Catskills, Adirondacks, Berkshires, White Mountains, maybe up to an inch or two, maybe three inches, especially above that 1800 feet mark. But the big story, as I said, here's the ice totals here across the Northeast. Starting late tonight, Thursday night into early Friday morning across Penyan, Elmira, Olean, 
over towards maybe as far west as Bradford, Pennsylvania, up into the Finger Lakes region, into Ithaca, Cortland, Binghamton, Tawanda, maybe as far south as the Wilkesbury Scranton area. This is where we'll be seeing about a few hundredths of an inch of ice up to a tenth of an inch of ice. And as you know, it only takes a few hundredths of an inch of ice to cause problems on area roadways. And that will probably pretty much its eastern extent will be the western Catskills, western Mohawk Valley, and then northeast it will be mainly some wet snow. But that's mainly going through about 8 or 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So if you have to commute tomorrow morning, you might want to allow yourself some extra driving time here. Let's get right into the forecast. Starting off with TGIF Friday, here it is. The day you've been waiting for all week. Look at that. Freezing rain, there it is. Into the pink and the fuchsia colors here. After about 8 or 9 a.m., though, that quickly erodes. And we change over to a plain cold rain. Most areas won't get out of the 40s, lower to mid 40s here. From Binghamton to Wilkesbury, Scranton, Elmira, Ithaca, up to Rochester, Syracuse. Even socked in here, we'll hold on to the frozen precipitation a little bit longer. The northern Catskills, Adirondacks, Berkshires, and the White Mountains as well here staying socked in before it slowly erodes later on after 3 p.m. here. But as I said, there's that warm air overriding that stationary front over southern Pennsylvania. And we'll start to get into the 50s here in places like Pittsburgh and over towards Erie. So there you have it for your Saturday. That front pretty much pushes out of the region, bringing in ushering on the backside of high pressure here a lot more milder temperatures. We will still will have more clouds than sun, but we'll break into the near 55 to 60 degree range. Places like Binghamton, Wilkesbury, over towards Williamsport, Harrisburg, getting well into the 60s here, south of the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Sunday is probably gonna be your nicest day here across the Northeast. Crystal clear blue skies from New York City and Long Island, up to Burlington, Buffalo, Binghamton, and to Pittsburgh and Harrisburg. Really nice sunny skies. Pretty much 60 to 68 degrees. Most areas, some areas even getting near 70 places like Philadelphia. So really nice day to get out and enjoy that. Clouds will burn off pretty quickly and into your Monday. Here it is. We have that big front moving in from the west, a cold front when it's an associated warm front pushing in. Gets much warmer here, but much rainier. We'll probably have on the order of about an inch of rain across most areas. So a solid soaking rain for your Monday as that next big storm moves in. Let's take a look at my five day for all my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton, Wilkesbury area, Tawanda, Tonconic, Owego, Appalachian, Vestal, Endicott, Endowell, all points along the Susquehanna River Valley in the northern Susquehanna region. Take a look at your Friday. There it is, starting off with some freezing rain possible, maybe some wet snowflakes mixing in, but maybe a few hundredths of an inch of freezing rain up to a tenth of an inch possible. Watch out before 8 a.m. Quickly changes to cold rain into your Saturday. That front moves out of the region, start to burn off some of the clouds, getting up towards 55 to 60. And here, look at this, Sunday, sunny, up towards the mid to high 60s. Monday and Tuesday, stormy Monday, there it is. Rain likely, probably up to an inch of rain. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com, it's Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at MediaMark. Don't forget to visit my website at MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern.